that's Boom Boom, John Lee Hooker. This is a great tune, and it makes a great blues tune that you can play solo, okay? So let's get into right now how, how to do it. Okay, so first note, fourth fret of the third string. Okay, maybe with a little slide. And then the third fret of the second string. Okay, here's what we got. Okay, I'm, right now I'm doing it like it's a little chord. You don't really have to do this. Okay, now, second fret third string to the open third string okay okay now second fret fourth string okay that's our key note that's E we're in the key of E now we pull it off to the open fourth string pull off's really part of this and then we play the second fret again. We pick it. It's a cool technique. Okay, here's the whole lick. Okay, there you go. Now, what happens is it's got that famous answer lick. Now, I'm doing it this way now. Open sixth string twice. Third fret, sixth string, fifth fret, sixth string. Okay? Notice, like, I catch that note. Okay? And that's here. Okay? You don't have to do that at the beginning. Okay, now, if you want a slightly fancier version of that, you can make the first one a power chord. Okay, and that's kind of um, the first, uh, I'm sorry, the second fret of the fifth string. And you get a chord, the open sixth string, the second fret of the fifth string. Now, sometimes I palm mute that. Boy, it makes a, a song in and of itself, right? Okay, so here's our first lick. There are six licks. Here's the whole thing. Okay, there you go. Lick number one. Okay, lick number two goes down to the second fret of the fourth string. And then we go open third string. Okay, then we go on the third string to the third fret, the blue note. Third fret to the second fret to open. So, and again, we've got our hammer, I'm sorry, our pull-off. So we've got the second fret of the fourth string pulled off to the open fourth string and then back. Okay, here we go. Okay, and then we've got our answer lick. It's the same as the first one, okay? Okay, here's what we have so far. Okay, I would call that licks one and two now. And uh, just to think about it, it's like four bars of uh, blues progression, really, you know. And, uh, you know, this might be enough to learn in one day. Okay, let's go on to our third lick. Third lick is the same lick as the first lick, but then it has a different answer. So watch. But now we're going to answer with the open A string, open five. Okay, so open five. Third fret five, fifth fret five. Or with power chords. Now I like to do this with the A a lot. I kind of make a little bar of the second fret of the fourth string and third string. You can even go hybrid there if you want. Or just strum it. Okay? So that's the third lick. The third lick is the same as the first lick, 
but the answer is an A. Okay, here's what we have so far. So it goes to A there. Now, fourth lick, same as the second lick. So remember the second lick with the same answer. Okay, now we're going to go to the fifth lick. Okay, so fifth lick starts the same again as the first lick. So fourth fret, third string, third fret, second string. Second fret, third string, open third string. But then it has this little kind of walk up here. So it's second fret, third string, third fret, third string, and then maybe maybe the open second string. So watch. So this is chromatic for you guys that know theory. It's A, A sharp, B. And now we do the answer in the key of B. Or in the chord of B. Okay, so watch. It's uh, second fret, fifth string. 5th fret, 5th string, 2nd fret, 4th string. Okay, so here's that 5th uh, lick. That's probably the hardest one of the whole lot. Then for the 6th lick, it returns back again to this. Okay, that's the 2nd lick, okay. Okay, 2nd fret, 4th string. Open third string, third fret, third string, second fret, third string, open third string. Okay, and then we have our pull off and fourth string, second fret pulls off to open and back. Okay, and I like to end it with. Okay, so it's like open sixth string. 3rd fret, 6th string. I play it twice. It's got a little wham on it. Anyway, that's the whole tune, and it makes a really great guitar solo, okay? Now, you might have noticed on the opening, after I did that, I went up the guitar neck, and I was just using my blues scale in the 12th position there. But then you can go like, and then do the answer. And you can kind of go back and forth like that. And in a way, it's kind of like trading ones with yourself, okay? But anyway, that's getting kind of more advanced, but kind of fun. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this lesson, and uh, it's been a pleasure for me.